Mark is a beast. Mark is very genuine. He will do whatever it takes to be the best that he can be. Mark is driven and determined. Mark McMorris, exclamation point on that run. As a kid, I was really into sports. I played pretty much every sport under the sun, and I think that shaped me as a person. He was active and athletic and passionate about what he did. Whatever he did, he was passionate about. 15 is really when I started to snowboard for a living. Then there was no other thing in my path except snowboarding. I was so focused on that and it took over all my attention. I was looking for that one where he was in Kimberly on the stretcher. It happened in the morning. We went in for lunch and I said, you have to stay in for the rest of the day. Because you're hurt. And he goes, it doesn't hurt anymore, Mom. And so out he went. Well, every parent's dream is for their kids to be happy and successful in some Form, but coming from where he did to where he is now. Bronze medalist representing Canada, Mark McMorris. Very, very proud. You know, like I say, you got to pinch yourself to think that he may be one of the best snowboarders in the world. Why would that be? But uh, yeah, very proud. Look at the amplitude and the way that he holds the grabs. Beautiful from McMorris. Yeah. This could put him in the medals. Brian Lewis, best guy out. He was just like the best role model ever for me at that time. He supported me, he believed in me in all my dreams and hopes and goals. I think Mark is exceptional, but not just as an athlete. I, I really believe like Mark's a, cut this part. Mark's a really exceptional kid cares about people, he works so extremely hard. I, I, he's an exceptional kid. I think the main thing that's stuck with me about Brian is if you are a role model for a lot of people, be that role model. Talk to people, give people the time of day. Hey Mark, how you doing? Uh, your old teacher, Mr. Lewis here. Just wanted to wish you luck. You know I'm super proud of all that you've accomplished and I know you have more goals to accomplish. No matter what, uh, we're always going to be proud of you here in Regina. As I say, it takes a village. It does indeed. I met Adam when I was 10 years old. He helps me on a day-to-day -day basis with everything, maybe film, coaching, management. He's definitely been my rock, my right hand man. I've been fortunate to see Mark live out his dream and follow his passion in life. It's nice to feel the success together as a team. I think it's a testament to the fact that it's like Damien's around, you, me, you know, same kind of crew, which is nice. How you doing? Good to see you. Good. Nice to see you too. How are things? Damien Maroney, legendary physio, legendary guy. Ankle's doing better than ever, which is usually more of the chronic issue, but uh, some maintenance and some work is definitely going to be beneficial. pretty well touch and go there for a second because it's in a back country. You only have 90 minutes when you rupture your spleen. Heli barely got there in time. Right when I woke up from the induced coma, he was like standing there like, <laughs> and I was like, can I get to the Olympics? He believed in me the whole time. He said, we're gonna get back to 100%, no problem, we got this. It's gonna be hard, but we're gonna do it and that was all I needed to hear. After what was a horrific year for him last year, almost losing his life in a back country accident, now he's about to throw it down in an Olympic final. If you're starting out in a sport and you wanna reach the highest of levels, the main thing is get into it because you absolutely love it. And surround yourself with a good team.
make sure you're doing it with your friends. You never snowboard alone, you're always with friends and that's why I love it. People say it's an individual sport, but it's far from that.